Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and I've got our 2005 Mule 3010 here. It's uh, starting to get into winter a little bit. I've made a couple videos. I've showed the uh, windshield that I made for it. I've showed the back wind windshield or window that I made for it. But uh, the one thing with winter coming in is uh, this is one of the primary vehicles that we use around the farm. And... Uh, Still need some doors. It still gets cold. So we're going to put some doors on this. And uh, another thing I did want to talk about uh, with these as well is with the tops, and it's the same with a lot of these side-by-sides, you still have an air gap, so you're still going to have uh, cold air comes through here. So I've been trying to figure out kind of a way to maybe take care of that. And I think I am going to get a pool noodle and kind of shove in there, see if that helps out. But... Uh, Anyway, we're going to start with uh, our doors. I've got an idea that uh, kind of took being, you know, in the military, working around a lot of military vehicles. Uh, kind of took an idea I've seen from some of the vehicles that I see uh, when I'm working quite a bit. And the tools pretty much that I'm using is uh, I've got my drill. I've got some zip ties. And uh, I have... A couple of sheets of this, it's pretty dirty. I actually bought this to do this last fall and didn't get around to it. So now that it's getting cold, I figured maybe I need to start getting around to it. This is uh, HDPE. You can get a sheet of this. It's about 80 bucks at Menards. And uh, this stuff, it's a pretty hard, rigid plastic. And it works pretty good for, for this as well. Cutting it's not too bad. Going to cutting it, I've... Uh, I've used a Dremel for kind of some uh, close tight cuts that I do. Uh, angle grinder works pretty good. Sawzall will work pretty good. Uh, make sure you got gloves on. Make sure you got a shirt that you don't mind getting kind of nasty because this stuff does uh, leave a lot of like this black powdery residue while you're cutting it. But we're going to get it uh, mounted up on the mule right now and I'm going to start marking some areas and we're going to start cutting. Okay, so I've got it set up to start tracing where I need to cut. And what I did is I took the sheet and uh, I drilled a couple of holes in the back, put it up alongside of it, and I've got some zip ties just to hold it tight, to hold it level. And I've got one up front, the one up front, I'm actually... Uh, that's one I'm going to have to kind of trim a little bit because I do have my mirrors on and I'm going to have to kind of trim around them. But it kind of holds on. It's going to let me uh, let me trace it. I've got a silver Sharpie marker and uh, these work really good. I'm just basically going to get on the inside and I'm going to trace out uh, like height where it needs to be, at the bottom where it needs to be. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, make those cuts. And then from there, I can get in a little more to see what I need to do. Okay, like a lot of people, I decided to use my truck as a workbench for cutting this. And it worked pretty good. Uh, what I actually ended up uh, using for cutting, and this is the initial cut. I'm going to be doing several other cuts on this. Uh, is uh, my circular saw actually cut really good. It's just some of these where you have to get into like curves. It did not do as well. So I switched over to my angle grinder and uh, that worked. That was good for corners, but uh, it basically, it just melted it. And you really got to have gloves on. I took my glove off at one point and hit another spot and got some of the plastic on my hand and kind of burnt a little bit. Uh, Sawzall, I ended up getting out. And uh, the Sawzall actually work really good, especially on those where you got corners. So uh, the Sawzall and the Circular Saw, definitely. I was a little worried about the Circular Saw maybe getting some of that dust and all in there and gumming it up. But it held up pretty good. It did go through an entire battery. But uh, anyway, we're going to mount this back on the mule now. So I've done some cutting and some fitting. And... Uh, Pretty much got it about where I want it. There's a little more trimming that I'm going to have to do. I did find out doing this by yourself. If you got a floor jack, once you make that bottom cut and uh, you got to have it lifted up, that makes it 
hell of a lot easier to do. Uh, I'm going to have to trim this piece off a little bit. I had to make a cut in here, uh, basically because of my rear view mirrors. And I cut it a little bigger than need be, but I can put some filler in there. That's not, not too big of a deal. I mean, there's going to be some air leaks in here, and you're going to get some cold air in, but it's going to take out 90% of it, and uh, there are some heaters you can actually uh, rig up in there that kind of help too. So I've got this kind of kind of about where I want it. So the next step of it is uh, to build a door and to put some windows in. And kind of the idea that I had with this, I've seen this on uh, some of the military vehicles I see when I'm uh, working and around base, is uh, this is gonna be the outer frame, and then I'm gonna cut actually a door to go in and out here and then just have hinges to where uh, uh, with the door you've got hinges and also uh, get some plexiglass and make basically a, a huge window uh, or two large windows so you can see out of it as well. Now the other nice thing about this is too once I've got it where I want it like right here I can go cut the other door and basically just use this as a template to uh, trace the other one and make the other one like this. Uh, the last side-by-side -side that I made a door, and I made a little different one because it had half doors, so I just basically made a top for it. Uh, I used a huge piece of cardboard and uh, cut out my pattern on it. This one I did not do, and uh, it's working out okay. I mean, it's a little, it's a little off here or there. I mean, this is all uh, cut freehand. It's not going to be as nice as a factory cab, but you know, factory cab for these are several thousand dollars, or the soft-sided ones, I think you can get for about 500 to 1,000, and I've had them before. They last about a year or two, and then the windows start cracking, or the zippers start messing up. So, you know, I wanted something a little more permanent that I can just pop on when the winter hits here, and I'm going to have maybe 200, maybe not even that much in this. Well, yeah, I'll probably have about two, 250 by the time I get the plexiglass. These sheets, two of these sheets were 80 bucks a piece. So, you know, 160 plus whatever the plexiglass. And I'm gonna use a ton of uh, zip ties, but they're cheap too. So, you know, maybe 30, $40 in zip ties plus whatever the plexiglass is gonna cost me and the hardware for like the hinges and the doors. So. 250 maybe and this is a cab that you know it's going to look uh really it's going to kind of look amish more than anything else but this will probably last me in a good 10 20 years or more by the time i'm done i built one for our uh bms stallion which is uh one of these that uh, is kind of like a, a rhino clone and uh i've had it about two years now and it's it's holding up really good i mean it Again, it looks like an Amish vehicle, like, you know, the Amish are getting into the 20th century, but it works. It's got some air leaks, but it's better than not having anything. So we're going to start tracing out, get a door set up on this, and start cutting it out. Okay, so I've got the frame trimmed up. I've got it attached with uh, zip ties. Now, I don't have them cut off yet or trimmed up yet just because I am at some point going to take this off because I'm going to use this to cut uh, to kind of make the template for the other side but I want to make sure that this works out before I uh, go ahead and cut another sheet because this sheet the sheets are about 80 bucks uh, may have gone up I mean that was last uh, last winter last fall when I actually bought these but I ended up uh I cut the inside out for the door, which, you know, you want to save that. I've got it sit right here. And I'm going to trim that out, put some windows in it so you can see out. I'm also going to get some hinges and some other hardware. What I used with the uh, other side-by-side -side that we have, the uh, BMS, is I ended up getting on Amazon and I bought uh, the class for, it's not the Yeti coolers, I think it was the the Walmart brand, maybe, or maybe it was Arctic. It was, uh, I have to look it up and see. I will have, uh, 
you know, all the stuff that I'm buying, I'll have a list of it and a link to where you can find it in the notes of this video. But that's where I'm at right now. That's going to be the stopping point for today, other than just measuring to see what size plexiglass that I'm going to need. And then uh, tomorrow when I go to work, I'll actually be by a Lowe's or a Home Depot where I can stop in and get the plexiglass that I need and then start trimming out these doors to make the windows, get the hinges, and start putting it on. And also probably get a rag to clean this off because it has been sitting in the barn for about a year. As you can tell, it's kind of kind of nasty. Uh, what I did with the BMS one is I got some paint that kind of matched it, and once I got everything done and it was on right, I went ahead and painted it blue to match that. So I'll probably do the same thing, try to find some Kawasaki red. Granted, uh, this is pretty faded from, uh, well, it's a 2005 and it's 2023, almost 2024 at this point. So yeah, it's a little bit faded from, from time, but I'll try to find something that kind of matches it. Also, I'm gonna fill in uh, there's some gaps here and there that I'll be filling in as I uh, once I get it all done. I know this one here actually will be pretty easy. I'll take some of the scrap cuts and probably just put it in here to uh, fill in that gap. But there's there's others here and there. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But that's where we are right now. And uh, next part of this video, hopefully I'll have the plexiglass by then. And uh, we'll be cutting out the doors and getting it set up. So I've got my door cut out. And I ran down to the hardware store and I got me some 18 by 24 plexiglass. And I'm going to trace it on here to use for a window. But then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go in probably about an inch to an inch and a half to make my cuts uh, that because that kind of gives me a little bit of a place so I can kind of mount the plexiglass in there and make it sturdy so it doesn't fall out. So I'm going to take my Sharpie out, going to put this exactly where I want to trace it, and then, like I said, I'm going to go about an inch, inch and a half in, mark that, and then I'm going to make my cuts. Okay, so I've got my window cut out in my door and put the plexiglass up. And like I said, it just kind of overlaps some. And the reason, like I said, for doing that, and I'm going to walk down to a uh, little scratch at. So I've got the window cut out in my door or the window hole for the door. And it just kind of overlaps uh, just a tiny, tiny bit. And uh, like I said, and I'll show you here in the next couple of steps, is I'm going to cut some scraps up and use them to kind of frame out the window in there. But I'm not going to get to that quite yet. I am going to put uh, hinges in here and in the frame and uh, kind of get this to where I can mount it. But I'm going to do that before I put the window in just because... There's less weight. I've got, you know, this section out. So I've, uh, you know, got rid of a lot of the weight on it and that's just gonna make it that much easier to uh, mount it in there. So I'm gonna go down and uh, get the hinges. I'm gonna line this up and start drilling holes and get it mounted in. And then once it's mounted in, I'll come back and put the window in. Well, I actually went down to mount it and something wasn't quite looking right and uh, I realized I wasn't paying attention. And uh, for the big window, I was planning on putting basically where your head goes. I got on the wrong side, so it's now uh, towards the bottom, which it should still work, but I had to run to the store, get a little bit more plexiglass to uh, do a bottom and a top window. And actually it is gonna kind of work out a little better because it's gonna make this lighter and so getting the hinges set, it's going to make it a little easier. Now, I went and got some more pieces. I couldn't get them exactly the size that I wanted. But I got them. It'll they'll work. I'm probably going to have to trim these down a little bit. And uh, hopefully with the circular saw, 
these will cut just like the other plastic did I, hopefully they don't crack on me but it was either super small or this size and i might even be able to uh and they're kind of close here might even be able to just kind of put them in there and just do the whole the size that's uh, needed but uh, we're going to check and see i'm going to figure this out mark it out and i'm going to trim this up and then i'm going to go out and uh, get the hinges set up then come back and mount the windows all right so i trimmed it up with the circular saw and uh, this is the what is this stuff the optics uh it's just a 0.93 thick so it's a uh, pretty thin cutting it with the circular saw the first cut went like really good i went really slow the one thing is it just kicked up stuff like crazy so make sure you're wearing safety glasses the uh i needed to cut a little more and then that it did i uh, sped up and if you're going fast on it it does uh crack it pretty good so go super slow make sure you're wearing safety glasses but i think i've got this to where it's going to work for me all right i've got all the windows cut out on it uh one thing when you cut it you're going to see a lot of kind of this stuff here as you're cutting it one thing i found is if you got your pocket knife and you just kind of kind of take it like that it pops that off really easy gives you a nice clean edge so uh just a little trick i'm gonna go get my hinges out and start uh putting it on so i got the hinges and the door mounted i ended up using uh three different sets of hinges just to give it a little more strength and then on this side i've also got uh, this is just a little like two dollar door handle from you know box store, Walmart, Home Depot. I'm sure you can get them off of Amazon. And I've got one on the inside too. I could not get the screws. You need about half inch screws for this, and they did not have them anywhere near me. So I have longer ones, and these I'll either cut off once I uh, get done, or I'll just get shorter screws and replace them. But it's starting to come together. I've got the uh, clasps that's going to hold the front tight order. They're off of Amazon. I will have a link in the description to, uh, uh, you know, if you're interested in those. They're just basically uh, cooler hinges for, I don't know if it's, uh, it's not Yeti. I don't know what the brand of cooler is, but it's one of those like high tech cooler and uh, next what i'm going to do is start cutting some strips and i'm going to mount the plexiglass in there and i got my back window right here and you can kind of see how i did it. i just basically cut strips and uh, the frame is a little bit the hole is a little bit smaller than the plexiglass so it kind of sits in there and then i just kind of bolt these pieces on and it holds it in really good so that's the next step. It's going to be cutting those and mounting the plexiglass. Well, we have the plexiglass in, and we have uh, pretty much everything done, other than just the uh, stays, the like latches that uh, will be in tomorrow. But uh, you know, kind of show you what I did. The screws, like I said, I'm, I'll either paint them black to match this, or I may paint this whole thing red. Uh, we've got three hinges on this side i've got cutouts where you've got plenty of visibility with this plexiglass i've got the handle and mounting the plexiglass on the inside basically you know like i said i cut the hole smaller than the plexiglass i've got it in there and then i just cut these scraps from uh, leftover bits of the hdpe and uh, just got it in there once it's in there i just tightened them down super tight and you know it's in pretty solid this one here i ran out of screws i gotta run to the store and get a few more for here but other than this piece right here i mean they're in there solid that's uh, kind of how i had set up our other one and uh you know it does work tomorrow i should have the remainder of the uh or the remainder of what i need which is the latches 
to latch it from the inside and the outside. And uh, once I've got that done, be a little trimming, a uh, little fitting, covering up like uh, right here where I cut just a little too much. And uh, we've got a gap here. I'm gonna figure out uh, figure out something to do in there to kind of block off the wind. There's a few other areas with most of these where the windshield comes together with the top. There's usually a little gap and uh, a couple like that, but I mean, it's warmer than being completely out in the open and you can put a little heater in there and with the heater actually uh, keep you nice and toasty. So wait till tomorrow, I'll put the latches on and you'll see the finished product on this side. And then I'm gonna take it off, trace out another panel and build the other side. Okay, so other than the fine tuning, we got everything done here. Like I said, we're gonna uh, kind of coat these to where they match. I'm gonna trim up some of these bolts. These are my uh, latches that I've got. These are just cooler latches. I've got one on the outside. A little windy out, hopefully you can hear me, but we're gonna go on the inside. And you can probably hear me a little better because the wind's blocked really well. I've got another one on the inside. I'm gonna do another one down lower. I found with the other uh, side by side when I did one, putting two on the inside, one higher, one lower, just helps uh, helps a little bit with uh, keeping the wind out and keeping it tight. And these, like I said, I'll put the link from Amazon. These are just uh, cooler latches. I think they were 20 bucks for four of them. I use three on each side, so I'll probably have to uh, order another pack of them before I get everything done. I've got the other side pretty well cut out now too. So tomorrow I'm gonna work on it, trim the rest of these up and uh, uh, kind of fine tune. You can kind of see some air gaps in here and that's uh, a lot of it just from the cuts being a little, uh, little jagged. I just need to uh, clean those up. So probably about another week or two, uh, once I kind of get everything cleaned up and uh, taken care of, I'm going to do a full video on the entire cab, the windshield, the top, the back window that I don't have on right now. I left it off to make it a little easier to run cables for these doors. And uh, then also uh, give me time to kind of clean up, you know, some of these, change out for better screws that are the right length or just uh, trim these off. And also where I've got holes in here where I cut a little big on the first one, uh, I'll... Uh, kind of patch those up as well so anyway but that's uh that's how i made doors for these or for this and uh i hope you uh hope you like it hope you got some ideas if you've got one of these mules you know that uh it's it's hard to find doors you can get the the big metal cabs they're about three four thousand dollars you can get the uh soft cabs and they're they last about a year. I've had those. They don't hold up over, uh, you know, they're good for the winter and then the next summer uh, they just, you know, sitting there, they, they don't hold up. So this way, uh, you know, this will probably last a good 10, 20 years. I think I've had the one on my other side by side now for two years. This will be uh, year number three and uh, it's still holding up really good. So it's Matt from McGee Farms. Again, hope uh, this helped you out. Hope this maybe gave you some ideas of uh, how to how to do your own doors. If you like it, please uh, consider giving us a, a thumbs up, liking the video, liking the channel, subscribing to the channel. It's always appreciated, and it helps the channel grow. Till next time, have a great day.